Today I'm going to be using Goxel just to design a quick little 3D model that we can export and import into Buildbox 3 for use in our games. Uh, Goxel is a 3D open source voxel editor to create the blocky graphics that are popular in a lot of games now. So I've already downloaded Goxels and we're going to launch it up and get started. Now I'm only going to create something pretty basic just to show you, uh, to kind of get on with it and show you how it works. Now let's give this a bit of texture because we're going to want to preserve this and import it into, uh, into Buildbox um, as we don't want just the, just the 3D shape. So this will kind of give you an example of, um, you know, of what you can do. Let's go and get a bit of color. Um, let's build a little platform on the on the back of here. So I'm going to use that one. Um, so this is like a like a little platform that you could you could hop up onto. Um, okay. All right. So with our three D model built, we just need to export now. And we want to export as a wavefront uh, .obj file. So I'm going to export that. And we'll call this model platform. And we'll just save that on the desktop there. Next, we need to open this in Photoshop. And that's so we can export uh, the matching texture. So uh, I dragged it onto the icon there. And we just need to hit OK let it do its thing and we can ignore that and now from the 3d menu we want to generate uvs which is uh which is basically the texture map now i'm going to go the texture size 1024 by 1024 that's going to be fine we don't need it any bigger than that uh, and then all that's left to do is export the 3d layer uh, now that needs to be an obj file as well and the texture we want that as a png so let's export that and uh, let's call this platform oh, this is the folder platform folder and we'll save all the files into here okay so you can see it's exported our object file and our png texture now the texture looks a little bit funky but you don't need to worry about that because it's all going to look great when it's imported okay we've opened buildbox i'm going to do a new 3d project and enter the 3d world now there's a couple of things we're going to need to do in here to get our model looking right um, and textured so to start with we're just going to drop the platform in um, and it's on its side so I'm going to rotate that by 90 degrees let's have a look is that the right way uh, let's go minus 90 okay good uh, now you'll notice it's got no texture so we need to highlight it in the uh, asset library in the sidebar there uh, turn down this and if we go back to that folder we just need to drag and drop the texture in and there is our model now if we if we uh, let's set the physics to static now if we play this you'll notice the cube uh, actually enters it and falls through it and that's because the um, the collision shape is not set correctly it's just as a small cube now you can either move this and try and kind of scale it up or you can give the object an exact um, an exact collision, an exact mesh. And to do that, we need to go to the start node inside of the model and we'll select mesh. And we just need to drop in the object again. Uh, and that should give us the exact uh, same, uh, let's see, uh, the exact same shape for our mesh. There you go, you can see there, it's the exact same shape. So now when we play, yeah, you can see the, the cube interacts uh, as, as you'd expect. Let's have a look here. Uh, let's just drop this cube 
on the edge there. Yeah, perfect. And we can obviously scale down our model because that's that is pretty big. Um, Oh, that's the collision shape there. We didn't want that one. Uh, let's select, select our model and then we can scale it down. Should we need to. There you go. Um, perfect. And then it just it behaves as, as a normal BuildBox 3D object. So this really opens the scope up to what you can do in BuildBox and the style of games you can create. All right, uh, I'm going to wrap it up there. All the links and files used in this video are available on buildboxacademy.com. All right, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.